This video will walk you through the solution to exercise 521, focusing on factoring accounts receivable in situations both with and without recourse. Here's the data for our problem. Jersey Shores sold $1,250,000 of accounts receivable to fast factors on a without recourse basis. The transaction meets the criteria for a sale and no asset or liability components of the receivables are retained by Jersey Shores. Fast Factors charges a 3.5% finance fee and retains another 5% of the total accounts receivable for estimated returns and allowances. We have two requirements for this problem. A is to prepare the journal entries for both companies, and B were to assume instead that Jersey Shores follows ASPE and sells the accounts receivable with recourse. The obligation has a fair value of $7,400, and we want to prepare the entries for the sale by Jersey Shores. So let's begin with requirement A, factoring without recourse for Jersey. Sometimes it's always easy to go for the low-hanging fruit in a journal entry first, and that's the accounts receivable. We know the company is selling 1250000 of its accounts receivable, so let's leave a few spaces in our entry and credit accounts receivable for $1,250,000. Now let's deal with the finance fee. If we multiply the receivables of $1.25 million times a 3.5% finance fee, that equals $43,750, and that will be classified as a loss on the sale of receivables by Jersey, and therefore we'll debit that account for $43,750. Now let's deal with the 5% retention for the estimated sales returns and allowances. So 5% of $1.25 million is $62,500, and Jersey will debit a due from factor account for that amount, which means that if from the receivables sold, there are no additional sales returns and allowances, the factor will pay this amount or some lesser amount if there are returns or allowances back to the company in the future. And finally, we have the cash. To make the journal entry balance, this works out to a debit of $1,143,750, which we can also prove with a calculation based on the $1.25 million accounts receivable multiplied by 100% minus the 3.5% finance fee minus the 5% retained or a net amount of 91.5%, and that equals $1,000,000. 143,750. And that's a complete entry for Jersey. Now for the journal entries for the factor. Since the factor is purchasing the accounts receivable, it will debit its own accounts receivable for $1,250,000. Let's now deal with the 5% retention fee that the factor may have to pay back to the customer if there are no returns or allowances. So the factor will credit a due to customer liability account for $62,500, which is the 5% of the 1.25 million receivables. Now for the 3.5% finance fee, which the factor will recognize as revenue. So we will credit a financing revenue account for the 3.5% of the $1.25 million, or 43750 And then finally, it will, of course, credit cash in the amount of $1,143,750 based on the total accounts receivable, less the finance fee, and the amount retained. And now for requirement B, where now the company is factoring its receivables with recourse. For Jersey, it will receive the same amount of cash as under a without recourse scenario. So $1.25 million less the 3.5% finance fee less the 5% retention. It will still debit a due for factor account for the 5% amount retained of $62,500. i will leave a space and now we will credit the accounts receivable for $1,250,000. And now we'll record the recourse liability. Here we're simply going to credit the recourse liability for $7,400. Then, to make our journal entry balance, we need a debit of $51,150, which the company will classify as a loss on the sale of receivables. And we can confirm the calculation as the $1.25 million accounts receivable sold times a 3.5% finance fee plus the $7,400 recourse obligation, or a total of $51,150. So we can see here the difference between factoring with and without recourse is that the company selling the receivables will incur a higher loss related to the recourse liability while recording the additional liability. Now, even though this requirement doesn't ask us to prepare the journal entries for the factor, we really don't have to because for the factor, the journal entry with or without recourse is the same. And that's it. We've solved this problem.